This video is not for scammers. Welcome to my channel Striker 24 x 7 If you like my YouTube videos then Subscribe Click the bell icon Like Comment And share In this video tutorial, I am going to show you How to secure the VC Dial Recordings folder path Before we start securing Let's see the current issues in VC Dial Recordings The default URL of Recordings folder in VC Dial is HTTP colon slash slash server IP slash recordings slash which is well-known name and easy cake for the hackers. Next, by default the VC dial recordings URL is open to public, without any restrictions like, password authentication, or ACL. Next, it also displays all the files and folders, within the recordings folder path. Which includes the recording file name, with customer phone numbers. Let's see, different options to secure the VC dial recordings path. In this video, I am demonstrating four different options to secure the VC dial recordings path. Number one, ACL method. Kind of deny and allow the IP address. Number two, password authentication. That is, authenticating the users who access the recordings folder URL path. Number three, disabling the folder listing. That is disabling the files and folder listing within the recordings folder. So the user can access only the URL if they have the full recordings URL link. Number four, changing the default recordings path name to a unique name. That is, only the admin or users who knows this unique path name can access. Example I am shown here, but give a name which is not an easy guess. Now let's see the step-by-step -step guide for each options. Option one, ACL method. Step one, edit the vcrecord.conf file. Using the VI editor, open the file and add the syntax deny from all, and, allow from followed by list of IP address. Here is the sample shown here in bold and underlined. Step 2. Restart the HTTP services, using the command. System CTL restart HTTPD. Note, the recording config file may vary according to the flavor used. Here is list for each flavor. Option 2. Password authentication method. Step 1. Creating a folder and a file to store the username and passwords. Using mkdir space command to create a folder named users under slash usr slash src. Now using touch command, create a file named credentials under slash usr slash src slash users. Step 2. Using the htpasswd command we are going to generate usernames and passwords. Type htpasswd command hyphen b slash usr slash src slash users slash credentials, followed by username to be used for authentication. Now the command will prompt to enter the new password for user admin, and followed by retype the new password. These username and password will be saved in credentials file. Similar way generate credentials for multiple users as shown here. Step 3. Editing the VC record config file to enable the authentication. Using the VI editor open the file and add the below four lines, as show here, which is highlighted in bold and underlined. Make sure to enter the credentials file with full path. Step 4. Restart the HTTP service and also enable A2ENMOD. Type system CTL restart HTTPD and run this command. A2ENMOD mod underscore access underscore compat. Now access the recordings URL, you will be prompt with the authentication. Option 3. Disable folder listing. Step 1. Edit the VC record config file. Using the VI editor open the file and add the below syntax. Options hyphen indexes, as shown here. Step 2. Restart the HTTP services, by running the command, systemctl restart httpd. Now access the default recording URL path, you may notice access forbidden, 403 error. Only the users with full URL link of the recording can download the file. Option 4. Changing the recording folder path name. Step 1. Edit the VC record config file. Using the VI editor, open the file and change the alias path. From, slash recording slash. To, slash some unique words comma slash recording slash. As shown here in bold and underlined. Step 2. Restart the HTTP services, by running the command, System CTL restart HTTPD. Step 3. Updating the VC dial to use the new recording path as recording download link in databases, which in turn replicated in reports. Log into your VC dial admin portal. Navigate to admin and servers menu. Under server settings, 
Update the option recording web link to alt underscore IP. And also edit alternate recording server IP with server IP slash unique name used in step one. Now you will notice in reports, the recording download link will be updated with the new path. Thanks for watching. Catch you yet another video.